Hello, friends. So today we come together to do a workshop on the process of what we're calling transition work. As you know, we have been without a leader for some time, about two years. And in the meantime, we have had an interim who has been facilitating or creating opportunities for us to learn how to enhance our communication so that when a new leader joins us, we will be prepared to accept everything that they bring. Many of us have cooperated and participated, others have not. Um, and this has inhibited, has prevented our smooth transition to prepare for a new leader. And today I wanna to tell you why this is important, why we have to carry on with the process. We are not done. We are not done learning our new, and I'm gonna tell you a story about my own experience. So when I first came to this organization, I came and I left and I came back. But one of the fir my first experiences was uh, during a social gathering where we brought our families and I brought my child and he proceeded to turn on and off the lights. And this embarrassed me. Someone in the group commented about this behavior and called me out and it embarrassed me. And I didn't come back. I didn't come back for several years. Later, I came back, didn't bring my child with me, became very involved in the way the organization is running. And, and now I'm in this role as facilitator. And so my job is to bring us, to move us forward, to move us forward with the, with the aid of our, of our intern. Since I have been in this role, just over two years, I have observed patterns of the lack of transparency where when sale, we had a property sale and there was great debate about if we should even tell the larger group as if it was some kind of secret which I couldn't understand. Then later we were hiring our interim and that was explained to me that that was a, um, a confidential matter. And when I raised concerns, like why are we not telling people? I was told, well, how many negotiations have you been a part of? I was dismissed because I don't know why. Um, there were other instances where I was, I learned about um, a workshop, a learning activity that a handful of us were invited to participate in. And when I expressed interest, because there was a book on the table, I expressed interest, literally, the book was pulled towards the other person and they said, you'll hear more about this later. So here we are today. And I wonder, have any of you heard this story? Have I ever had a chance to explain how, my, how I was embarrassed, how I was, I was dismissed because I didn't know what I was talking about, or that you members here in this small community uh, made me feel less than? I wonder if any of you have heard these stories from me. And had we not had, had we not been in this situation right here today, would these, would you ever hear these things? So friends, that is why this process is important, why we must carry on. And so the rest of the afternoon, as we move through the other stages of our workshop, as we gather in small groups, ask yourself, what experiences have you had that you have not felt safe, validated to share. As a community working together, we have to feel, we either don't feel safe. So, so I ask you to try to answer these questions today. Do you not feel safe? Do you not trust us? Do you not know how to say what is, what is in your heart, what your experiences are? Or do you not have the skills? And then perhaps at the end of our conversation, we can figure out where to go from here. Thank you.